Joe and Chick are moving in. David Gerber contacted me because I was the writing cop. I was an LAPD uh, detective sergeant who had written two best-selling novels, The New Centurions, which became uh, a movie with George C. Scott, and The Blue Knight, which was, I think, the first miniseries produced in the United States with William Holden and Lee Remick. Uh, so uh, David thought I would be the ideal person to create the first truly authentic and gritty cop show in the history of television. Those were his words. I can't imagine you doing anything else. Did you ever try? No. Well, most people try a lot of things. You're a very unusual man. Oh, yeah, I'm so unusual. I lost my family a couple of years ago. I, I mean, I was divorced. As, as you want, you want to ring? Yeah, it's, it's delicious. All of this took place in uh, 1972 when I had 12 years on the LAPD. I was still a working cop, even though I had uh, the two best sellers under my belt. I was still going to work every day. So my detective partner, Richard Kalk, and I I uh, used to drive up to Burbank Studios to talk to David Gerber and uh, other executives about this idea he had. And I thought what David Gerber wanted it to be would have to be an anthology. We'd have different actors each week so we could do whatever we wanted to these self-contained dramas. If we wanted to kill off the actors, we could kill them off. <laughs> Nine wife, 14 to 20. It wouldn't be a continuing family of actors as television was used to. Of course, we got the argument that anthology television is dead. We don't have it anymore. Playhouse 90 was a thing of the past. But I sort of stuck to my guns, and so did David in arguing with uh, the studio and uh, NBC. <laughs> They finally relented and said, well, maybe we could consider an anthology approach to this. The stars are no longer as important as the story is. And I'm a writer. I wanted the story to be the star, not the actors. That's how Police Story basically was conceived by David Gerber and myself, in addition to being an innovative, creative, uh, terrific producer. He was a great salesman and he sold it. And there we had not just the only anthology on television at the time, but a cop anthology, something unheard of. It's up to him, lady. It's up to you. She gets it first. And you get it next, no deal. David and I just stuck with the concept that it had to be an anthology. And in that way, we could do police drama that was absolutely true to life, absolutely gritty. If a cop had to die, he died. And that was the end of that actor for that show. Daddy? What are you doing up, huh? I heard you and Mommy. Oh. Saw you on television tonight. You did, huh? You were the dead man on the boat, Daddy. When it came time for the pilot, I informed David Gerber that I was a bit busy to be writing television. I was a full-time police detective, and I was writing novels and I had a family, so I wouldn't be writing any television, uh, I told him. And he was well aware of that. And I said, but here's the one thing 
that I insist on if I'm to be involved in this project. I don't want it to be the approach that is always taken with police procedurals. Police procedurals attempt to show how the cop acts on the job. I said that the reason I'm a success as a new kind of police writer is because I'm more interested in how the job acts on the cop. Look, you're gonna be okay. Get a pad with all your bachelor buddies. Drink a lot. Get it on with all the ladies. Do just what you exactly do now. Except you won't have me to use anymore. Please don't leave. I want to get into the psychology of being a cop. I don't care about chases and shootouts and squealing tires and sirens. That isn't what makes up police work, at least not the interesting part of police work to me. It's the psychology of the job. It's the psychology of the cop. It's what happens to him after being out there on the streets and seeing not just the worst of people, but ordinary people at their worst. What does that do to the cop? Does that make him prematurely cynical? If it does, how does he go home and deal with his family? I said, I'm interested in all of that. I know this divorce has been very difficult for you. It has for me, too. And uh, I'd like to ease things for both of us. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that, too, Martha. I mean, it, be nice. We were able to get a very good writer, E. Jack Newman, to write the pilot. And in the pilot, we see a cop enduring that kind of stress. And so E. Jack Newman uh, took all of that in and conceived of this story of a divorced cop with a daughter uh, doing this kind of work and how, how it affects him, how it affects his relationship with one of the victims that he is protecting. You need me, is that what you call it? When I'm falling in love with you. Wait a minute, what is that supposed to mean? Love, I just left six years of it. I don't even know the difference anymore. Before Jack Newman could begin writing the pilot, I thought it would be a good idea to do something that had never been done before in uh, television, uh, certainly concerning cop. So my detective partner, Richard Kalk, and I put our heads together and came up with some LAPD officers who we thought were good storytellers, cops we worked with cops we worked around, people who just seemed to have a sense, a dramatic sense for story. We took down 187 major felony suspects. We recovered almost five million bucks in monies and property, and we have a 98% conviction rate. If the suspect lives to get into court. Oh, live! Uh, and besides, you got somebody for all your cesspool cases. We had the idea of pairing up the writers, not just Jack Newman who wrote the pilot, but other writers uh, with um, police officers who would give them ideas, anecdotes, dialogue, stories for their field of interest. If a writer felt that he wanted to write about vice, we'd get him some vice cops. If he wanted to write about burglary, we'd get some burglary detectives, and so forth. We've had another complaint from public relations on attitude. Seems some of you guys have been a little surly lately. Now just say please, and sir, and man, right? And then cite the sucker and get the hell out. My own detective partner of five years, Richard Kalk, became starstruck, particularly since 
he got involved with the New Centurions movie that was adapted from my book and the Blue Knight TV <laughs> show uh, adapted from my book. And he got parts in both of those and he earned a SAG card. So I actually worked with a detective partner who had a Screen Actors Guild card. Sometimes he'd show the SAG card instead of his his police ID card by mistake when we were when we were badging somebody. Richard Koch and I uh, worked this thing so that the police officers who came in and worked with the writers would get paid by David Gerber, overtime pay, and they'd sometimes get a screen credit or even get to be an extra in the episode that they helped to conceive. So everybody liked it, but what it really did was lend a note of authenticity to this episodic television, a kind of grittiness and authenticity that had never been